to the next 31 Nights of Horror with Dan, Tony and Sam. And um, today's film is... You On. It is. I don't think it was the original You On though. I think this might have been the second one. It was the second different. second Japanese one. Um, I will explain because I know Tony's confused. Yeah. So I'll explain for you guys at home as well. You On is um, the Japanese... The curse. So basically, a murder happened in a house, and everyone who comes in contact with that house is a, basically affected by the murder. It's like a poison. Um, and the murder was that a woman who was married and has a son falls in love with a teacher, and she really fancies this teacher. Um, the teacher knows nothing about it, and she writes it in her diary. Her husband finds the diary, goes into a jealous rage, and then kills the wife and um, stuffs her body up in the um, attic. This is the famous one where the ghost goes, oh. that is where the husband has snapped her neck and she was trying to breathe and that's the noise that she was making as she was gargling to death. Wow. Um, the son, he, the dad for some reason was convinced that the son wasn't his so he grabbed the son and his pet cat and he drowned them both in the bath, and then because they both died at the same time, um, the sun ghost is like connected to the cat ghost. And in the version that I know, the husband hangs himself in the room. Um, and because of that, um, different people come in contact with the house, and as soon as they become in contact with the house, then it means that they're in contact with the curse, which means that the ghosts come and get them. Um, this one was a very strange one. I've never heard of this one before. Um, in which I think we had like four different stories. The yeah. main story was like a, the teacher who um, was, I guess, the victim of her affection. Um, went to her house and was trying to check on the boy. He seems gets killed by um, the ghost. Um, and there's also. There was a schoolgirl that got killed, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, schoolboy was the thing. Because she had the jaw. Yeah, I think it was, a, was he the schoolboy or the schoolgirl that had the jaw ripped the off? The girl. The schoolgirl. The schoolgirl. Girl, girl, so yeah. she's walking up. She's just and like, I'm guessing the mum of the schoolgirl got killed. We didn't get to see that. And um, um, the brother we didn't get to see. No, and some woman who moved in got dragged into the attic yeah. by the ghost. And then right at the end, we are shown that. This psychic woman tells people that if they drink sake, they should be fine. But then it's a rewind. So it ends as the film begins. It's kind of like a Pulp Fiction deal in which you've got like four different film stories going on at the same time and they intertwine. The last story ends with the first story beginning. So it's a bit confusing. Well, it ends funny, yeah. Yeah. Um, the version that I've watched, um, which is the version is probably a lot of you watched because I remember getting it after watching the Sarah Michelle Gellar version, was a kind of a different one. You got like four different stories again. Um, one was a schoolgirl going crazy because she didn't want to look outside the room, so she covered the room in newspapers, and then it carried on, and it turned out that when she pulled the newspapers down, there were like her three dead friends standing there staring at her. There was another really cool one, because I was hoping it was this one, where this woman wakes up and there's cats everywhere in the room. There's just cats meowing. Yeah, it's very cool. And then um, the grudge ghost is just standing over her. Like, and then gets oh, her. yeah, I think I've yeah. seen that. Yeah, there's like a, the, that one I think was a better version. I still quite like this version. I mean, I think all of the grudges that I've seen, except for the American version, so all the Japanese ones, I think they're really good, because... They have these subtle things, like for instance, you noticed the oh, the woman at the on top of the roof, yeah, yeah. coming out the balcony, the top window. and like there's just little things going on. Like, I think um, the woman was buried in the attic, and there was this one cupboard to get into the attic. Well, the teacher was going through the house, wasn't it? And it was just little things like the um, drawings were being blown away from the door to go into yeah. the attic. You know, I like those little touches. Um, yeah. I think it's a bit slow, but I think it's helped by two of the creepiest ghosts 
Yeah, like, I don't find it scary watching it. It doesn't freak me out, but it's very creepy. It is very... Just to like have that little boy sit there and start meowing. meowing yeah. And then you hear that horrible noise. At that. I mean, yeah. the American Grudge, when I watched it, I was still at school. I was still in secondary school. It was the last film to scare me. The last film. Really? Yeah, because... Um, I don't know. Have you seen the American Grudge? Yeah, oh, with Sarah Jacoba. Yeah, 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 I've seen. You know, I didn't think much of it. You know, uh, it wasn't a great film, but it made me want to watch the Japanese one. And um, you know, in the Sam Michelle Gellar version, where the first woman he gets killed, she goes up in the attic and she sort of looks around. It's kind of like the same as this one. She looks in the attic and she's got the lighter. And suddenly, and it suddenly jumps. I, because of that, I refuse to go in the attic for years. I don't. Know. I've learned from horror movies just don't go in the attic. There's never candy up there. There's never free money up there. There's normally a jaw. <laughs> There's normally something ready to, ready to grab you. A yeah. noose or a bones or yeah. kids watching a you know, I don't know, yeah. photographs from your house that got burnt down that shouldn't be up there. Picture of you when you're younger. Exactly. Yeah. It's all bad stuff. Yeah. It's never good. It's never good. It's it never leads to hugs and puppies. No, cats in this one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You don't know what I was quoting. No. Yeah. Mm, sorry. The, uh, the, the child being drowned with a cat, that wasn't really... That wasn't, wasn't explained, explained at all. That was no. just a bit weird. But I don't know whether this, like I said, whether this is the second one, because obviously if this is the second one, they're expecting you to have watched the first one, and the first one explains everything. It completely explains it all, and you're like, oh, right. Because in this one, it was really weird, because the husband didn't hang himself. Apparently, he went to the teacher's house and killed his wife and took yeah. his dead baby. Which... They were weird scene in the first That is, like... The grudge by the end isn't subtle when the ghost is coming out, but they're never, they're more subtle than that, so I don't quite understand this one. I'm guessing this must have been the second one, because the first one was really good. I thought the first one was really nice. It didn't explain anything until, like, in the first one, um, the ending was a girl sort of covered her face up like that, and because, apparently, that's what the wife did before the kid, the husband killed her um that's what showed all the story sort of thing and like it was a cool little way of doing it whereas this one it was kind of they were expecting you to know the story yeah. and there was little twists to the story i mean i still think it's it's a decent one because it's kind of like an anthology film and i love a horror anthology i mean you guys know that thanks to vhs and that um this isn't the best japanese horror at all Battle Royale. Battle Royale is easily the best Japanese horror. Of course. Um, I think this awesome. one's still solid, but it was kind of... I thought it was a different one. It's very different. It's just different, isn't it? It's very different. Yeah. It's very creepy. It's not as... It's not over-the-top dramatic. It's not running. It's not like... No one's running and tripping over and breaking their ankles, getting out of the house from some murderer. It's like... No. It's just it's Japanese, and that's what you it's expect. It's a proper it's Japanese. There were um, two duons that came out in the, in the same year. Oh well, then this could have been the second one. Curse two. But it's good to yeah. see some a different version. You know, it means that you've seen both. Yeah, I mean, this this wasn't as good as the version I watched. I'd give this sort of five five out of ten. It's quite slow. It's about right, five out of ten. I think. Yeah, it's quite slow. Go go one up, go to six. Yeah. I I enjoyed it, even though I didn't really understand it completely but that that's kind of funny because you're the one that doesn't really like watching foreign films well, like wreck that doesn't count <laughs> like in one foreign film <laughs> everyone has that one foreign film i mean everybody gets one everybody gets one um but if if i was to say i mean grudge has always got a special place because if it wasn't for the grudge i wouldn't sit down and watch foreign horrors it was the grudge that got me into it all because mm. as soon as the grudge it even though it was ring battle royale um cell well pulse um you know one missed call two tad of two sisters which is on disney plus by the way um but yeah i've always got a special place for 
And not only that, the remake's got Buffy in. You gotta love Buffy. Yeah. Or you got Yeah, you gave it five out of ten, didn't you? Yeah, so, I agree, I think it's about right. Yeah. This is quite a short review usually, so there's not a lot really to say about this one. It's kind of No, it's just it's just a good it's just a good yeah, like it's I said, hard, like it's I said, there's nice little. I like the subtleness because yeah. you don't really get that out of found footage like Paranormal Activity. And that. There's a lot of subtleness to this, and like I said, these ghosts are really creepy, really creepy. I would actually say these ghosts are creepier than Samara out of Ring as well, and she's pretty creepy. Yeah. Um, Why you seen the remake? Both. In that sense. Both. Yeah, Samara. Samara in the remake and Samara in the ring is kind of the same. A, a good little fact though is um, the woman who plays the ghost and the boy who plays the boy in the Japanese version of the grudges play the same characters in the remake, which is quite cool. Oh. Yeah, they just, get better, they just get better makeup. <laughs> 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 Helps. Yeah, you know, because for some reason that the boys always put them in. I guess it's a, it's a dead colour, isn't it? Yeah, it just always reminds me of a Smurf. And then later on, Avatar. Ooh. But yeah, that was uh, right. Juon. Juon 2, apparently. What's the next film, Dan? The next one, we are finally getting to zombies. And we are going to do 28 Days Later. Danny Boyle's 28 yes! Days Later. Um, I'm waiting for this. The first. Very good film. Yes, a very good film. Very good. Uh, the first zombie film in which the zombies were actually truly terrifying. They can run, they can fucking run, but we'll talk about that in the next video. Trust me, me and Sam, and if Tony's here, we can talk to death about a zombie apocalypse. So, you know, if you'd like your zombies, you will probably like your our next review. Yes. Yeah. Watch this one. Watch either version. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, yeah, get some, get some zombie watching on. Yeah, definitely. You know, if yeah. you haven't already watched 28 Days Later, definitely watch it. Um, but watch it in time for the review. The review will be up on time. It will be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not missing this one. Yeah, because... Oh, well, I'm not going to go into it. You will find out how I feel about 28 Days Later tomorrow. You might hate it. You never know. Yeah, maybe. This smile could be fake. I mean, I loved Human Centipede too, if you watched the last video. <laughs> <laughs> If anything, I guess maybe um, Zhuang was always going to get a half decent review because we just mentioned yeah, we Human Centipede 2 beforehand. That's <laughs> true, actually. <laughs> anything, anything, you would excuse Anything is better. better than that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yes, we will see you tomorrow for our first zombie film of the list. It only that took us it. 18 days to get took to Took too long. <laughs> Probably should be number 28. You've been here to say that earlier. Damn it! Oh well, we missed a trick. <laughs> well, to be fair, no, that's 30 and 31. I've forgotten what's 28. I will show you after this video what's 28 and we'll mm. see if you approve. Right, anyway, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.